In this tutorial, we're going to talk about some of the most important editing tools that are available in the Corel workspace. So we're going to talk about trim, weld, simplify, and some of the other uh, functions that are available in terms of shaping. So to, to illustrate this, we're just going to use some very basic objects here to really paint the picture. So I'm going to draw a uh, square here and we'll assign a color to it. And I'm going to duplicate that by hitting Control D, which is the duplicate function, and we'll assign another color to that. And we'll duplicate once more to really uh, showcase this particular uh, editing tools. So the first tool that I want to share with you is called the weld function. Now, any time that you have two or more objects selected, and what I'm going to do now is select two objects, the top two squares, and how I'm going to select two objects is hold down the shift key. So I'll select the topmost object, and when I'm still holding down the, the shift key, I'm going to select the next object, and you can see I just grabbed two of those. So now that those two objects are selected, or really any time that you have two or more objects selected, notice these little options or little icons here that you'll have in your workspace. So we're going to work through these now. So if I hover my mouse over the first icon, it says Weld. And as the description says, combine objects into a single curve object with a single fill and outline. So as the name Weld implies, you're fusing together objects. So we have a yellow square and we have a blue square. Now once I click Weld, watch what happens. And in fact, let's do this. Let's go to the wireframe view so you can really see how this takes place. So now that we're in the wireframe view and I select Weld, notice how those two objects have now been fused together into one seamless sort of container here. So it's a great way to take really complex objects or, you know, uh, and just blend them into one seamless path. Now if I go back to the enhanced mode, you can see how that's now transformed. So hit Control Z, sort of a before, and uh, we can use these little arrow keys, the undo and the redo button, to kind of go back and forth. So you'll see we have one solid object um, fused together versus two independent objects. So that's the weld uh, command to fuse multiple objects together. Now let's talk about some of the other tools. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select those two top objects. And now hovering my mouse over the next option, which is trim. As the name implies, this will trim uh, objects through one another. So in this case, we drew, uh, you know, we have these solid objects stacked on top of one another in space. And now what if I want to drill some of these objects through one another? I can go ahead and click the trim control and notice how we've just punched that top layer through the bottom layer. Now, I want to jump to a tool on the, the workspace here and it kind of shares something in common with trim. It's really trim to a maximum level and it's called simplify. So we can trim overlapping areas among objects. And that just means we can take every single layer and drill them through one another. So we have three objects stacked on top of one another. And as soon as I click Simplify, what that's going to do is trim every single object through one another. So there's no competing objects. And in fact, if I look at the wireframe view here, go View, Wireframe, notice we don't have any competing objects there. It's just seamless paths. Now this would be appropriate for, say, laser engraving or for cutting vinyl. You know, we don't have to worry about any intersecting lines here. And if I go to Control-Z, you can see the before and, of course, the after. So that would be the simplify command. Now one of my other favorite little features here is the ability to create really a sort of a, a contour path around all of these objects. So the very last function here, create boundary. So this is going to be a path that selects uh, or surrounds all of the selected objects you have on your workspace. And I know that's a mouthful, but let's, let's examine what that does. So as soon as I click Create Boundary, it basically draws a path around the entire uh, surrounding area of all the objects that we had selected. So if you ever need to create a quick contour cut path, that would be the way to do it.